So let's have a look at what the different organelles, okay? Remember organs, organelles, same idea. The different organelles um, do in, in a cell. So we have the nucleus, okay, in eukaryotic cells. The nucleus stores genetic material, as we know, and coordinates the cell's activities. Okay, so think of it like the headmaster. It's the one telling everyone in the cell, think of different organs as different people. It's the one saying, all right, you go do this, you go do this, you stop that, just wait. Yep, okay, you can start that now. And it's directing everyone around. Okay, that's the nucleus. Think of it like the headmaster. The ribosome is responsible for protein synthesis. What does that actually mean though? What the heck is protein synthesis? Whenever you hear synthesis in biology, I want you to think production. Something's being made. So protein synthesis, proteins being made. The ribosome is responsible for making proteins, okay? The rough endoplasmic reticulum, it transports proteins produced by the ribosome. So we just learned that the ribosome is the thing that's producing proteins and it transports them to the Golgi apparatus, okay? It's a transporter. We'll get back to what the Golgi apparatus is in a second. Um, we have the rough ER, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, then we have the smooth ER, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This is the site of synthesis of phospholipids. Synthesis, what did I just say that was? Production, making, right? So it's the site where phospholipids are made. Okay. Golgi apparatus is the part of the cell that packs proteins into vesicles, modifies them, and sends them to their destination. What does that mean? Basically, after a protein is made, it needs to be folded a particular way so that it can perform its function. That's what the Golgi apparatus is doing, okay? Folding the protein in a particular way and then sending them off and saying, all right, you can go do your job now. One just quick misconception I want to clear up ASAP is please when you hear proteins for now on don't just think of muscles okay or like steak proteins that they do have they do have a lot of protein don't get me wrong but protein doesn't just mean some kind of like muscle or something to do with muscles everything in your body is controlled by or are controlled by muscles oh sorry proteins not muscles controlled by muscles Proteins, gosh, I'm going to keep saying this. Controlled by proteins, okay? Enzymes are proteins. Heaps of different things are proteins. Proteins are responsible for carrying out every single process in your body, okay? Yes, they do have a function in muscles, um, and yes, they are important, like, in terms of nutrients, but it's not only that. It just refers to kind of every bodily process that uses proteins. Um, yeah, which is why we need to make so many of them. Okay, lysosomes, there is where they, the lysosome is basically the rubbish bin. Um, it's where the cell will send waste products and things that it doesn't want anymore. The lysosome will basically break it down, okay, and then spit it out of the cell. The lysosome is like the rubbish bin, okay? so. Those are all, those organelles are all involved in the synthesis, production, making of, and processing of proteins and lipids. Okay, what's lipid? Um, lipids are fats. Okay, it's the uh, unit that makes fat. Think liposuction. Okay, liposuction. I know it's a bit random, but liposuction is where fat is removed from the body. Lipolipid suction. Okay, fat suctions fat removal. That's where that comes from. Okay. Storage and cell structures, vacuoles. Vacuoles help provide structural support in plants and are used for storage and waste disposal. Okay. So um, I always like to think of them as like little containers that can fill with water and nutrients and not fill with water and nutrients if needed. Um, plastids contain genetic material and play a role in synthesis and storage. They're not found in animals. These are specific, um, spe specifically in plants. Cell walls are a rigid structure found in plants that provide structure to the cell. So think of the cell. You have a cell wall um, around the cell only in plants. Eukaryotic human cells and mammals do not have a cell wall. Okay, big differentiating mark. They do not have a cell wall. They have a cell membrane. Okay, not a cell wall. 
Um, we'll look at what the difference is, but just know that a cell wall is a really rigid structure, really tough, um, whereas a cell membrane is more fluid. Okay, cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton supports cell structure and movement, assists transportation within the cell. Um, centrioles are involved in cell division, so when cells divide and then keep replicating, centrioles are involved in that. And then we have cilia and flagella, which are hair-like structures involved in the movement of the cell. And usually you have the cell and the flagella coming off it, that really, it helps with locomotion. And as it kind of swims, it's pushing the cell along. Um, yes, I will be doing a lot of diagrams with my hands. Um, you're just going to have to adjust to that. Okay. Then we have the two big um, powerhouse of the cells um, for each animal cells and plant cells, okay? Mitochondria, okay? Mitochondrion, plural, mitochondria, are the powerhouse of the cell, okay? And um, that's, hopefully, we've heard that phrase before. It's kind of like a famous phrase now. Everyone thinks of mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell. Basically, it's important in cell respiration and um, energy production, okay? Chloroplasts, those are the mitochondria of plants, okay? They are important in not cell respiration, but photosynthesis and um, converting light to actual energy that can be used by the plant, okay? So we have mitochondrion for plural and chloroplasts. Okay. Why did I tell you all this? Could they ask you what's the role of the ribosome in a eukaryotic cell? Yes. Okay, so it is important that you're able to tell me what a nucleus is. What's its role in a euka eukaryotic cell? Um, what is mitochondria? What's its role in a eukaryotic cell? Compared to a chloroplast in a plant cell, what does a mitochondria do in an animal cell? Those are the kind of questions that you may be asked. So it's important that you understand what each one, each one of these um, is. Okay, here's a little a little bit of a recap. Um, I would certainly put this in your notes if um, you haven't got something similar. Basically summarizes each cell structure and gives a little description of its role and says green is of course, yes, the cell has it. So eukaryotes have all of this. Prokaryotes, however, do not have um, this red stuff, yellow, they may have, they may not have. Okay, so some prokaryotes do have a cytoskeleton, some don't. 